what's up guys it's Carter and I'm back with another video and yes I have come back for another vlog I know I've been slacking lately uh, I think the last vlog I was finishing up my hypertrophy phase but uh, I've still been hitting hard um, I'm about through let's see a block and a half of we got three strength blocks so I'm kind of halfway through uh, things have been going well still hitting the workouts really hard but just been a little busy and uh, a little lazy haven't been really feeling like doing the vlogs so i apologize for that guys but i have been posting on instagram um quite a bit uh, more frequently so uh do follow me on instagram because i do post workouts there a little more often just because it's just a little bit easier uh i don't always do voiceovers or anything like that but uh I know I have given you guys a couple shorts here and there, just showing you the workouts, but I haven't really gone into depth on the, what I've been doing or how things have been going. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Here we're starting off with some pen lay rows and uh, doing these a lot more strict than I was before. I'm pretty happy with my form here. Had to take a little weight off the bar to do so, but I really was trying not to cheat those. And then you hear uh, I'm doing a close grip Larson press, and that's my son over here spotting me. I've been uh, he's been out for spring break, so we've been uh, working out together. I've been teaching him uh, some technique and getting some lifts in. So uh, we've had a lot of fun uh, this past week uh, lifting. So I have to post a little bit of some of his lifts. I was pretty proud of what he was doing. Uh, he was pretty proud of his uh, let's see 125 pound deadlift. Uh, so he's 12 and he had some pretty good technique. I was pretty proud of him. So moving on here, uh, taking the 85s for a spin here. Just uh, leaving two to three reps in reserve and just focusing on uh, some nice quality, full range of motion uh, reps here. Uh, nothing crazy. Then moving on to some leverage gym shrugs. This is still one of my favorite uh, ways to do shrugs. On the lever gym, you can just set it at the perfect height and just load it up and just bang out some heavy shrugs. Um, so yeah, the lever arms are pretty much the only thing I use the lever gym for anymore. So, uh, but this is one of the ones that I do like that and like the shoulder press or a Viking press. So moving on to some competition style deadlift, which is conventional for me. I'm using the power bar here and pulling 325 here for fours and uh at about seven rpe so those were those felt pretty good the deadlift's been going pretty well uh back's been feeling okay so uh pretty happy with that then we moved on to some belt squats utilizing the new uh rhino rack that i threw together uh, with the rep upright so it'll fit in my basement uh, does save a lot of space here and I'm pretty happy with how it came out um, so we're doing a little bit of a quad focused belt squat there then uh, let's move on to the next day moved on to some competition style bench um, utilizing those monoliths there and uh, pretty happy with how the bench is going uh, shoulder is bothering me just a little bit so uh, I've been mixing in some close grip stuff, some uh, multi grip bar, and some floor pressing just to kind of take a little bit of stress off that shoulder. Um, and I will replace the competition style bench with one of those variations if it does persist, but hopefully it doesn't, fingers crossed. So you saw in that last clip there, I was uh, utilizing those new Rogue pull up handles that I got. Um, you know, the rotating handles and it gives you a lot of different adjustment positions. I do like them, but they do hang a little bit lower than I had expected, um, especially with the 80 inch rack. So like my knees are like almost touching the ground. So uh, I'm gonna have to figure something out. But here I'm doing a Bradford press. It's pretty humbling because I'm not using a whole lot of weight, but you know, each rep is basically two reps, you know, one in front, one behind the neck. And uh, so I'm going for around you know eight to twelve reps I think I got about eleven there in that one then here doing a seal row using the Rhino and I got the rogue utility seat the day it got delivered rep released theirs and I kinda regretted it <laughs> uh, I didn't know reps was gonna fit uh, a 49 inch rack so you know whatever this works I have a little uh, pad I can place 
up on there to be a little more comfortable, but reps pad would have been nice for this. But this worked out well, but I had to have my son uh, hand me the handles there. Um, I had to figure out some way to set this up. I think uh, Marcus from Twisted Barbell was uh, mentioning, you know, putting some hooks on there, maybe some J-cups or something to kind of keep it up high so I can grab it for the set. So I'm going to see what I can come up with for that. I'm here uh, kind of finishing up the session with some uh, kind of a medium grip uh, floor press. And these felt pretty heavy. I think I got about seven here, but uh, I think it was about 220. These felt pretty heavy, so that kind of lets me know I need to be hitting these a little more often, hitting those triceps, and uh, hopefully the bench will go up some too. Then moving on to the last lower day of this vlog here, and I've been doing some box squats lately. Um, they just seem to feel a lot better on my back. And uh, back when I was doing box squats, my squat was was steady climbing. So um, I think I can just stick with these for a little while in place of my competition squat. Like I said, I'm not gonna be competing at the end of this. I'm just seeing how this uh, program is gonna work for me. So. Uh, Back felt pretty good on those box squats and uh, using a little more of a wider stance and I'm feeling pretty explosive out of the bottom so I was happy with those. Then we moved on to a conventional deadlift it was calling for but I pulled out the axle bar for this one uh, using a mixed grip when it got heavy there but they did feel good and it was nice, uh, nice variation to switch it up. Then we have a combo set here making another appearance here towards the end of this uh, strength block where the intensity and volume kind of ramps up and I'm doing a uh, another belt squat but a wide stance variation so uh, first part of the week on the other lower day I do a narrow stance and then I do the wide stance here to kind of focus on those uh, adductors and kind of get strong in both positions but uh, I was a little gassed after uh, this one here because uh, we moved on to some band assisted chin ups right after that and um, like I said, pretty gassed, and I need to get my GPP back up because I've been kind of lazy, just laying around, um, taking care of my daughter, and just just kind of get lazy with the baby. You know, they just they just do a lot of uh, sleeping or hanging around. They need attention constantly, so I found myself just kind of sitting around watching TV a lot. So I kind of got to get out of that slump a little bit, and um, been trying to stay busy this week. And, uh, you know, throw the football at my son, you know, get in some more workouts, do some yard work, just stuff like that, just to get moving and uh, kind of get out of that little funk <clears throat> that I've been in. But uh, so we moved on to another combo set. And uh, this one is some glute ham raises and uh, just adding five pounds here. Um, by the way, my body weight's up to close to about 220 right now. So I'm getting close to the end of my bulk. So I'll have to start cutting here soon. Plus the weather's getting warm. I need to shed some of this fat because I start sweating like a big fatty. <laughs> but yeah, I moved on to some uh, incline dumbbell presses here. with uh, These were 77.5 utilizing those... Uh, utilizing those uh, plate mates there. I like to take out the adder weights um, out of the power blocks when I go in those uh, 2.5 increments because I don't like to unevenly load those dumbbells. So I like the plate mates for that. But uh, on that set, I believe I kind of tweaked my back a little bit. I must not have been properly bracing when I was going to hang up those weights. I think I tweaked my back a little bit. It was really tight uh, today, the day after uh, I did those. So got to pay attention to that watch that hopefully it'll subside and it won't be a problem but uh, I did feel a little bit better after I did these reverse hypers and again pushing the weight on these these are up to 265 really pushing the limits of this uh, uh, west side uh, scout reverse hyper so gotta make that upgrade uh, gotta make that upgrade here soon